What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Tyler's already out in the garage working and he sent me a text to come check out what he's doing. So let's go take a look. What in the world? What are you building? Catalytic converter theft is getting really bad around here. So I'm building something to prevent mine from getting stolen. This is definitely something. I don't know what, but it is definitely something. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a better way that we could do this. Maybe they have a kit online or maybe somebody has some blueprints that we can kind of look at and figure out a better way to do this. Definitely probably out of stainless, but you're right. We definitely need it. It's getting bad around here. Yeah, you hear about it on the news or even going into Walmart grocery shopping, people just cut off your catalytic converter. Especially on a truck like yours. Yeah, when they're lifted, it's much easier to get under a truck than versus a car. So let's go do a little research, figure out a better game plan, and then come back and we'll figure out a better way to do this. Have any luck finding a kit or some blueprints on how to build this thing? I found this great company that has it already made for your exact vehicle. Oh dang, there goes my million dollar idea on building catalytic converter shields. Yeah, they have a fit for every single vehicle you can possibly think of. That looks high quality. That looks a lot better than that mess you were building. Yeah. And this company's also on Amazon, so we're probably just gonna go ahead and order it off of here. And you can get it in aluminum or you can get it in stainless steel. So I say get it in stainless. Let's get it ordered. That way we can have it installed by this weekend. All right, let's do it. All right, it's been a few days. Looks like the package finally came in. Looks like we got some more packages. I think they're for my mom. It seems as if she gets a package like every day. So let's bring the box in, unbox it, and let's take a look at it. All right, so Tyler got everything set up, got his truck in here. We're gonna put this together right quick. Um, it looks super simple. I don't think you could mess this up if you tried. This has three holes. This side has three holes. This side has four, this has four. So you couldn't mix anything up. This goes in the front. The instructions are labeled really good. And then it comes, all the screws that it comes with are these little tamper-proof Torx bits. So not going to be able to steal this. Plus a, a crook is looking to get in and get out super fast. So he's not going to take the time or be packing around Torx bits. And if you're kind of nervous about doing this yourself, I saw on a website that you can take this somewhere and there's tons of places that will install this for you. Even most dealerships carry this brand or will install it for you. So we're going to try to do this on the ground. We tried to drive up on the ramps over here, but we're missing a little rubber piece that goes under the ramp and our, our ramps just kept sliding. So we're gonna try to do this. We'll see if we can or not. So let's, I'm gonna let Tyler do most of the work and um, get it put on. All right, first we're gonna start by putting this together before we get under the truck. So Tyler's gonna start doing that. He's got two in already. So talk about how you, the order you need to do it. You get your screw and then you get a lock washer and then a regular washer, 
and then we're gonna screw them all in and then come back later and torque them all in. All right. Yeah, you don't wanna ever tighten a one screw before you get everything in loosely. That way all your holes will line up perfectly. And you wanna have them in this order too with the lock washer, then the regular washer. All right, we got them all in. Now we're gonna to torque them down and then we're gonna get under the truck and remove the cross braces. So these are the two cross members right here that Tyler's going to take off. Just four bolts hold each one of them. So we originally took both cross braces off, but we think it'll be easier if we keep one bolt on that we'll swing and it'll be easier to put the shield on. Yeah, I think this tip is, will be especially helpful, like if you're just doing this by yourself. That way you can kind of hold the shield up and then swing this around and then bolt that one in. So let's get under there and raise it up and see if this works out. All right. All right, let's lift it up. You see the holes right there? We got the crossbar on. We used one regular bolt and one tamper resistant bolt on each side. That way people can't steal it. And all that's left is to put that front plate on and all you need to use is these three long screws. And then we'll go back and tighten everything up. All right, the last part of this job is this little piece on the front. This rounded piece goes towards the driver's side. And this is gonna point up and it's gonna go on top of this cross member on the frame. So we just slide it in. Line up the holes. All right, we just finished putting the cat shield on the Tacoma and the company gave us two stickers. So we're gonna put one on the shield. That way when thieves try stealing it, they're gonna realize to not even waste their time. And we're gonna put the other one on our slow, slowly growing sticker collection on the air tank. So before we do that, you wanna show them the finished product? Yep, let's take a look at it. Went on super easy, really great product. All right, so this is it. This is a catalytic converter. It's not actually covering that up. It's covering all the piping right here. And that's where they would cut it. It's right here. So that prevents them from stealing it. Kind of, you got the sticker on or forgot yeah. where you're going to put it? Right here. This came out super nice. Really easy install. The front section was a little bit on the hard side, but it wasn't too bad. 
But for this, I would definitely leave that one bolt. That way you can swing this around. It makes it way easier. So this is it. Great product. All right, we got the sticker on our air tank. That means the job's 100% complete and our collection's slowly growing. Hopefully one day this tank will be covered with all the different products that we've been using in our videos. So it was an easy install, a great company. I'll put the link to the, in our description and I'll put their website. That way you can do some research, but they had the best ratings and reviews on Amazon. So we went with them. It was a super easy install. And just that truck right there, somebody stole the cats off of it. It would be over a thousand bucks to get them replaced. So it's a cheap investment compared to the damage they're going to do cutting the exhaust pipes and all that. So make sure you subscribe and check us out on Instagram and we will see you in the next video.